Hello, I'm Inez Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be talking about audio and how to export your audio correctly for the web. So, uh, as you know, there are billions of videos online and a lot of people export their videos at somewhat kind of a different setting. So, audio settings aren't always exact. So, the one video could be a little bit less intense than the other and it could be a lot louder on another video, for example and therefore you will have to change your audio settings a lot of times uh, if you're watching different videos on YouTube um, because the other one is like too quiet and the other one and then you have one that's too loud and and that's why I am making this video to explain how you should export your audio as good as possible so it's kind of equal in each and all of your videos that you're going to post online so I am here in Adobe Premiere Pro and I imported a tutorial right here in my timeline. So this is a tutorial that I already have recorded uh, a little while back about the best render settings for online video. You can check out that video on my channel, it's already online. Um, but the first thing I do is I drag this down so I can see the waveforms of my audio settings here. And if I'm going to play this, and you're going to see here, if I play here, I see uh, I'm, I'm uh, just scrubbing through the audio here. So if you're going to watch here, you're going to see the meters of your audio and right now we are at like minus 12 decibels and if you don't see that window, you can go to window and here you have audio meters and yeah, here you can actually read how loud your audio is. So we have an average of minus 6 to minus 12 and that's a little bit yeah too silent, I guess. So it's very important that you your highest sound should be around maximum like zero decibels. So uh, audio is actually calculated this way that everything above zero is actually overclipping and that makes your audio to yeah just not sound great and yeah it's it's not going to be natural anymore. You you won't have all the information in there. Once you go above zero um, it's just you know, like compressing all the audio and you won't have the uh, pure quality. If you're going to record audio it's important to have somewhat kind of a minus three, minus six uh, recording, uh, but sometimes you can do that. So it's it's actually easier to record a little bit uh, less intense, like right here, minus six, minus twelve, and then boost it afterwards. Because if you're going to record it and it's already clipping zero, you can't fix that audio anymore. So once you have that as a file, you won't be able to fix that, uh, but you will be able to fix um, audio that is like too. Uh, to silence. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So um, most of the time I just calculate between minus three, minus six, something like that. Um, I'm not trying to reach at zero because yeah, sometimes yeah, that's uh, just too loud. So I'm going to click on my audio here, right click, and I'm going to edit this in Adobe Audition. Adobe Audition is a dedicated software for audio design. Uh, so right here we are in addition and we can see the waveforms again. Right here you will have a boost decibels option here. So I'm going to boost it uh, just until I'm reaching like zero here. Uh, some of mine are reaching at zero, so these are just touching the edge here. Um, some really click sounds could be louder, but that doesn't really matter if it clips. Uh, so it's important that the rest of your audio is around yeah minus three, minus six. So uh, most of my uh, audio is around that zone, so that's great. Okay, so uh, you can clip it maybe just a little bit more because these are just click sounds or like my lips uh, that are yeah making a lot of noise so that's why it could be clipping here um, but actually audio actually when you're talking should be uh, shouldn't be clipped so we can do it like this maybe and there we go okay so uh, this looks great and yeah I'm going to just save it file save and now if we're going to uh, go back to Premiere and we're going to make it load, so it's going to load that file that we just edited in Adobe Audition. We're going to play this back, we'll see that our levels are between minus three and minus six. This is actually great, sometimes I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit lower, um, but around this kind of uh, meter, uh, it should be all right. You can boost it maybe just a little bit more like um, two decibels higher maybe, so we can do that if you want to. Uh, let's Let's do that here plus two and there we go maybe that's clipping a little bit too much I'm going to add one okay there we go and save this okay I should stop it here and save it here and then go back to Premiere and try to play it again and see what happens so it's it has to load a little bit 
Okay, there we go. Okay, so uh, these are the best possible settings for my audio file, I guess. So if we're going to export this on YouTube, um, yeah, the maximum sound will be great. And yeah, you should try to calculate between these numbers here. So um, that's actually it. It's, it's very simple to do it, but you just have to know how to start on something like this. And then you can do this for all of your videos uh, because sometimes you're going to use a different microphone or get a, a, f a further distance from your microphone and your audio won't sync up on each of your videos. If someone is watching all your videos and he continues to click on videos, your audio might sound differently. So this is a quick solution to just make sure that your audio is at the right volume. So this is my tutorial on how to do that. So it's very easy. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos. And if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. So thank you for watching and goodbye.